Hello, students. Hello, good, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, oh, teacher. Hello, guys. It's a great good pleasure. Good evening, to... teacher. Hello, welcome. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, that's yes, good. Teacher. Excellent. I, I love when you say yes because, you know, it's an adventure. Every single class we have here is like a great adventure because we, we are going to have like a great topic to share. And um, I know that most of you have had a, a very challenging day working, you know, waking up early, coming uh, to move to different places. So I, I'm pretty sure that you will have a great time right here in the class today. And the most important, as I told you, is that we have the opportunity to improve and maximize your English skills. Those are one of the things that we really need from this class to go beyond and try to practice produce the language and also try to do your best all the time in the class. So let's welcome. And also let's get ready to start our class today. But before that we start the class, I would like to ask you um, a very basic and important question. What did we do yesterday? What do, what do you remember we did in the class? What information? The yes. The conjunction. Mm -hmm. The conjunction, but and so and however. Oh, interesting. Do you remember what's the function of a conjunction according to, to what we said in the last class? Relaciona, relac, uh, connect. connect. Connecting sentences. Excellent. And also we use the word uh, instead of sentences, uh, there was another word. Do you remember what was the word that had a similar meaning to sentence. But and sounds however. Yes, in that case, uh, the word is closest. Uh, look at the chat, look at the chat. Closed is similar to say sentence. So uh, for that reason, we, we did that. But uh, excellent. This is one of the topics we socialized yesterday. So today, um, we will work in the following exercise. And look at this video conference, it's number three. And also we will talk about common health uh, complaints. You know, most of the time we are sick, we have a headache, stomach ache, and we need to go to the doctor to see what happened because we don't feel good. And also we will study this vocabulary, but at the same time, and we always have a short backup related to um, previous topics. In this case, we studied conjunctions. And also we uh, work with some vocabulary. And as we said before, one of the main goals about conjunctions is that we can connect sentences. Uh, also one in independent sentence with another independent sentence to make one sentence. That is the function about the conjunctions. And also we translated into Spanish uh, conjunctions. If I ask you, ¿Qué significaba la palabra but? Pero. 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 Yes, yeah. excellent. And what was the meaning about end? E. E. Uh -huh. e. Um, what was the meaning about um, however? Sin embargo. Sin embargo. Uh -huh. And what was the meaning about though? Aunque. Aunque. Exactly. So you understood pretty good the topic. So excellent for that, guys. And we could have a short backup about this activity. So we have a new information that we will develop for the class. And also and let's start with this look at this and also we were talking about vacation spots look at this one uh do you see the presentation that i sent uh today in the afternoon by what's up uh, do you see the presentation the powerpoint presentation through what's up Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Guys. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I always try to send the information before so you can study and check vocabulary or try to 
uh, get the most valuable about the the topics that we are studying in the exercises too. So we're talking about vacation spots. It says five popular cities and some sites and events there. Look at that one. The Carnival Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Interesting. Um, I would like to ask you this question. Do you know anything about the Rio de Janeiro's carnival? If you know, what do you know about Rio de Janeiro? Give me some details. Si usted conoce algo de alguno de estos lugares, dígalo en inglés. ¿Qué es, qué es lo que sabe? What do you know about these popular cities and some sites and events there? What do you know about Rio de Janeiro in Brazil? Yes. Do you know? No. For example, the people there are excellent dancing. Oh, dancers! They are good dancers. Okay, excellent dancers. Oh, that is a great detail. Of course. What else? Rio de Janeiro has the most popular carnival. Oh, around the world. amazing, amazing. Excellent detail too. Yeah, it's one of the best carnivals. I think the best around the world. Okay, someone else. It's a large festival. Oh, it's a large festival. I, I don't know exactly how many days um, does it take, but we can investigate about it. Okay, let's see the, yes? Uh, teacher, the big Jesus Christ near the beach in Rio. Oh, this is the Jesus of Corcovado, right? The statue. Yeah, yeah, the, yes, the, yes. The, oh, the huge statue of Corcovado in Brazil. It's in, impressive. Yes, and near to Rio de Janeiro. Nice event. And what about the jeans shopping district in Tokyo, Japan? Do you know anything about this, um, well, event in Japan? Have you heard about this? The tsunamis in this place. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of tsunamis there in Tokyo. Oh, so a little dangerous. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's uh, very challenging. It's in Tokyo. So what we understand about this, it's people, um, it's, it's located in Jinsa in Tokyo. People, people in this place, they go from different places around uh, Broward, Japan and they go to some shopping districts. They can go and buy a lot of products, a lot of merchandise and souvenirs, Japanese souvenirs, and also some um, important articles sold in Japan. That's why it's it's a massive. A lot of people go there because they, they have great uh, prizes for some products. So it's very famous, especially in Tokyo and Japan. There are some uh, shopping districts, so people love going there and buy some uh, souvenirs and some stuff there. What about the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Look at that, in Los Angeles, California. What do you know about it? What do you know about a uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame in Los Angeles, California? Yes. There are many stars. There are many stars about uh, some famous actors, uh, or famous people. People. Um, so we could say personalities. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. That's great. He say the the work of the stars. Okay. 
okay, that's, oh, there are uh, many stars, okay, of famous people. And I will ask you about some names if you know that. I'm just going to uh, give some information in Spanish to make sure that, bueno, como sabemos, eh, quiero recordarles de que pues tenemos que tener ahí los nombres eh, en la pantalla por siempre la verificación que hace Insafor. Por ahí puedo ver eh, nombres completos y está muy bien. Al mismo tiempo también las cámaras encendidas es algo que Insafor siempre nos está recordando y que nosotros debemos cumplir. Así que ahí felicitar a varios. Por ejemplo, acá tengo en mi pantalla a Maritza, tengo acá a Linda, tengo a Osmin también ahí con su cámara encendida. Entonces, eh, verdad, eso es importante ya que este programa pues lo requiere. Y aquí también tenemos a varios también. Tenemos a Luis, tenemos a María, Sarah. Entonces, siempre, no se les olvide esto. Ok, so... Teacher, yes, I'm sorry, teacher. Tell my, me. Cam my camera doesn't work. Oh, so is yeah. there any possibility I'm, that, that... Yes? Yes, I, I'm Romeo Rosales, but my camera doesn't work. I will try to connect with my other uh, dispositive. Device. Yes. Oh, oh, perfect. That's okay. Thanks for letting me know. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about Hollywood Walk of Fame. And uh, do you know any star of a famous person you know? Do you know some personalities that have stars there that you can name? Al Pacino. Ah, okay. Al Pacino. Who else? George Michael. Oh, George Michael. That's the one that we can see here. Yeah, it's a, a famous singer. I think he, he passed away, right? He died. I don't know. Yes, the, he died. Okay, any other famous person you know that has on a star there? No. Frank Sinatra. Oh, the singer, right? American singer. Wow. He, he had a yeah, he got an amazing voice. Amazing. Okay, let's talk about the tour of friends in Paris. As we say in, in French. In Paris, friends. Uh, what do you know about this tour? What do you understand about this? The Tour de France is amazing. I like cycling. Ah, okay, <laughs> nice. And um, what is this tour about? Can you explain me what people do there in this tour? So what do you know about it? No, uh, no idea about the tour of the France, the tour of the France. I can see a lot of cycling, cyclists uh, near the El Arco del Trunco, como se llama ahí. Okay. Okay, as you know, the, the Tour de France is a very, very international uh, and famous uh, competition. It's a race between the best cyclists around the world. So in this competition that takes a kilometers, um, the best cyclists and the fastest, uh, they meet there to compete to be the number one. And also, it's a very famous for a long time in France. So that's what we know about the story. And the last one that is by Cyborg Palace is in Seoul, Korea. Do you know anything about this? Do you know anything about this um, place?
No. Really, I don't know, teacher. About the cup. What's the pronunciation? Uh, uh, comic book palace. Comic book palace. Yeah. For me, is it's famous for for the construction. The house is very very good. Oh, interesting. So it's so it's very famous. It's uh, okay. It's in Seoul, Korea. It's the largest of the five grand palaces built by the Joseon's dynasty. So a very famous leader in in Korea. So th there are different uh, palaces, but uh, this is one of the five. So imagine. So I think it could be very interesting to visit um, Korea. So South Korea, of course. Okay, so let's see this one. Uh, from the five, what place would you like to visit? If you have the opportunity to travel, uh, which, which place would you like to visit? Tell me. I, I would like to visit friends because uh, it's a beautiful France has a beautiful capital Paris has many um, museums and mm -hmm. has had the cathedral the Notre Dame is oh. famous yes um no I it's my my dream <laughs> okay great so i hope you get it we're so hard for it yes yeah nice nice to know that excellent so let's continue okay someone else someone else yes I can see go to no, I can see this um, Mexico for the shores the Virgen de Guadalupe mm, okay interesting hello okay all right, thank you so much for that. So it's very interesting to know about beautiful places and also there are a, a lot of, of cities with impressive sizings and also interesting locations, right? So let's continue with the next part of the class and we will go straight with the following topic. We will study in this case, the models verb can and should. As we know, can and should are models verbs. The main goal of this is that we can use them to emphasize something. In that case, we use can for abilities, that we are capable to do something. In the case of should, um, it's different because should, we use it to give a recommendation. I should go to, I, I should go to Brazil because it's a beautiful place. Uh, you should visit the, the Notre Dame Cathedral. You know, you should, you should go to Mexico because it has uh, the best uh, typical food right there. So we're talking about that. So we have here the uh, sentences. Look at this. Look at this. We have yes. some, some examples. Who wants to help me to read? I need a volunteer for helping me to read the sentences about, Medition. yes, thank you. Okay. What can, what can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid 
of the sun. Excellent, thank you. So we can appreciate here some statements using the can. What can I do in Mexico City? So you can ask a question about what can you do when you go to a place? Like, you know, what, what can you, oh, if I ask you guys, tell me, imagine that I travel to Salvador or I would like to travel to Salvador and I ask you the following question. What can I do in Mexico, in El Salvador? What can I do in El Salvador? What would you say? What recommendations can you give it to me? I can see uh, the beaches or, the, or visit the mountain. Hey, interesting. What else would you like to add about El Salvador? What other information can you give? Or what recommendations can you give to visit El Salvador? You should visit in Los Planes de Rendero. Okay, that is- I can I can visit beach and rivers, good rivers, good beach in our place, in our country, in our country. Ah, okay, great. That's uh, interesting, definitely. You can visit the Tau, Panchimalco, or Nahuizalco. It's a very good place. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, very typical. It's very traditional and typical, so it could be very interesting for people, for you visitors. Can, you can do a little tour of the Cerro Verde and the volcano of Santa Ana. It's really beautiful. If, yeah. you, if, you, if you go to the top of the volcano, really, uh, the volcano has a really beautiful lake the color green um, tur turquoise. Wow, fascinated. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, the Santa Ana's volcano is awesome. So I, I, could, I could see that. The view, it's impressive. So you can see a landscape around there. Okay, thank you so much for that. Well, and uh, you can see, you can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Monday because they are closed. And what should I see there? As an example, we have some activities that we can develop. But if I ask you, what should I see there? What should I see in El Salvador? Imagine that I ask you guys, what should I see in El Salvador? You should visit the beaches. Mm, okay. Okay. And also you should visit the um, the National Museum, so you should visit the Cathedral of Salvador, or you should um, see a beautiful view of Chalatenango Mountains, so you can uh, also do a lot of things in around El Salvador. Okay, look at this one. You had to complete this conversation using can and can't, should or shouldn't. In that case, can for abilities, and also the negative form is can't. You say can, can't, should, shouldn't, shouldn't, should, shouldn't. So we had to read the sentences and we had to decide if we use can, can't, should, or shouldn't. This is the exercise that we'll develop right now. So for this, I will give you um, a couple of minutes to complete these uh, statements or these conversations using can or can't, should, shouldn't. Uh, before that I let you work, I would like to ask you if you have a question or doubt about it. Uh, preguntas? 
No question. Okay, thank you. No question, teacher. Okay, excellent to me. All right, guys, let's go. Let's practice.
Okay, almost ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. So also we will use the chat to, to have a feedback about each exercise. So we go with the first one and I will share it with you here. So I decide oh, where to go on my vacation. Um, what do you think could be the best choice? Can, can't. So what do you think could be? I can decide. Can't. Can. Exactly. Can. Exactly. It's can't. Look at the chat. Because the person is um, doesn't decide where to go. So it's like, you know what? I don't know what to do. In parentheses, like, you know, give me a recommendation where to go. So thinking about it. And the answer is you go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. What do you think it'd be? Um, sure. Okay. Show. Sure. Yes, sure. it's should. If the other person recommends to go to India, sure. you should go. That's right. And number two, I need a volunteer for helping me to read the number two. Show them. Me teacher, show oh, them. Yeah, read the sentence, please. Okay, number two. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you when do you think uh, a show a show go? I don't see. You show them. You show them go any any time. The weather is nice all year. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, nice reading. So in that case, you said that this person has planning something specifically. When do you think I can? I can go. I can go. Should. Should. Okay. When do you think I should go? Uh, the same question. The person is requesting our, um, an idea. So should will be the best choice. Okay, and the part B is you. Yeah. When do you think I shall go? When do you think I shall go? Mm -hmm. And the other part is you. Can. Should. You can? Can. Yes. You can. You, you can, can go. go. You can go. The okay. is nice, so dear. You should go anytime. Mm -hmm. You can go or you should go. If I say you can go, it's you confirm that no matter the date, because the weather is nice all the year. Or if you use should, you are recommending to go anytime. So the best part would be can. That would be the closest. Okay, let's see the number three. Excuse me, is a uh, show. Uh, the number three. Show. No, no, the, no. Uh, two. Part, part B, uh, can. You can go uh, anywhere, anytime. The weather is nice all year. Because you are not uh, requesting, or you are not uh, requesting, you are confirming. In este caso, aquí le, la, la respuesta mejor sería can. Porque la otra persona ya conoce y le dice, hey, tú puedes ir en, en cualquier momento. El clima es bonito todo el tiempo. Entonces, aquí ya no es should. Tú deberías, sino que tú puedes ir en cualquier momento porque el clima es bueno. Entonces, you confirm. Es sure, pero en la plataforma él no acepta el can, sino el show. El should. El should también puede ser utilizado. Eh, como recuerden, el should es como una recomendación. Si yo digo, you should go anytime, es como decir, hey, tú deberías ir en cualquier momento. El clima está bonito todo el tiempo. Entonces, estás como haciendo una sugerencia. Pero también podemos usar el can para referirnos a, como tú ya fuiste, yo puedo decir, eh, mira, sí, deberías de ir, usando el should, deberías de ir, 
eh, puedes ir en cualquier momento porque el clima es bonito todo el tiempo. O sea, podemos usar dos. Posiblemente en el ejercicio, pues nos sugiera que usemos should como recomendación. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Oh, welcome. But this is great. Okay, uh, look at the number three. Uh, what possible choice do we have? Number three, children. Can I rent? Can I rent a car when I drive? Oh, okay. So, show, in my case, show, show I rent a car. Um, when I when I arrive in in Cairo, what do you recommend? Can I rent? Yeah, also you can use can or should. Y al final nos dice, what do you recommend? Es decir, eh, ¿puedo, usar, mm -hmm. ¿puedo rentar un carro? ¿Qué me recomiendas? ¿O debería rentar un carro? ¿Qué me recomiendas? So, both can be used actually in the time. And... You should. Show. No, you should. You should? No, should. you should. Shouldn't? Yeah. Or what? You should. Ah, you okay. Mean. You should definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. The pronunciation is efficient. Okay. And let's see the number four. Where can where can I get some nice beverly in Bangkok? Ah, okay. Where can I get some nice? Oh, in that Bangkok. Where, where can I? Where can I? Yes. Bangkok. And the answer is you. You shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't. Uh huh. You shouldn't. What? You shouldn't what? Miss the weekend market. She's the place Missing for for games. Uh, you say with me, bird games. Because it's bird a games. recommendation, maybe? It's a recommendation. Yeah, you shouldn't miss, exactly. So say with me, bird games. Bird games. Bird and also, games. Bird games. And also, uh, we also have jewelry uh, para referirnos a joyería. ¿Ya vieron esta palabra? La que está acá. Esta se pronuncia jewelry. 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 Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Is a repeat fleet the pronunciation? Uh, jewelry. Jewelry. Si se logra pronunciar la L entre la E y la R. Jewelry. Jewelry. Yes. Jewelry. Yes. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Jewelry. That's the meaning jewelry. Jewelry. Uh, that's the meaning to joyería. Thank you. Okay. Y tenemos bird game, uh, jewelry and bird games. Uh, bird games is like when you are getting a product, but this product you can buy some promotions or cheaper prices or discount. Um, that's uh, the meaning about this one. It's the best place for bird games. Eh, ¿Saben que en El Salvador hay una palabra bien especial? Eh, que son como promociones. Eh, podríamos decir que son como promociones. Pero aquí en El Salvador la gente dice cachadas. ¿Han escuchado esa palabra? Yes. Do you use this word in Spanish? Gangas. Ah, exactly. Gangas eh, cachadas. Exactly. So people say that in El Salvador. So, yeah. Son como ofertas. Gangas, ofertas. Entonces, son bird games. And number five, let's see the number five. What? What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Mm -hmm. What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? What can I see? What can I see? ¿Qué es lo que puedo ver ahí? 
¿Qué puedo ver en ese lugar? What can I see there? And the answer is... Can... You can... See you can all see all of Paris, but in bad water too... You can't see anything. Oh, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. Okay, so can, uh, it's the answer about this one. So it's asking what can you see and if there is a possibility to see or not something specifically. Okay, that's, uh, that's great. So we could complete the statements using can and should. Remember that can is something that you can do or you can develop something specifically. And when we use should, we're giving a recommendation. Okay, um, do you have a question before we uh, finish here? Yeah. And go no questions. No, no. Okay, so, okay, cool, thank you. Let's go on to the next page. Okay, we have an activity here. So it says, write answers to these questions about your country. Then compare with a partner. What time of year should you go there? What are three things you can do there? Uh, can you buy anything special? And what should I be? What shouldn't a visitor missed? So uh, what I want you to do is to think about El Salvador. What time of the year should you go to El Salvador? What are three things you can do in El Salvador? Can you buy anything special in El Salvador? Christmas. And what shouldn't a visitor miss about El Salvador? So I want you to think about these statements or these questions and also I want you to uh, answer these questions. So meanwhile, um, I will pass and check the attendance list. So if you allow me to send a picture about this in the chat, so one second. Okay. Look at this, look at this. Okay. So take a time to answer these questions and I will send a picture about these questions in the, in the chat. So I will take a time to check the attendance list. So if you allow me one moment and get ready to say present. Okay, you listen uh, to your name and you say present. Uh, Brenda Liliana Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Carlos. Uh, Carmen Lisette Santi uh, Santillana. Present. Francisco Antonio Calderón. Eh, Francisco. Eh, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. 
Here I am, teacher. Nice. Uh, Jennifer Tatiana Gutierrez. Present. Thanks. Uh, Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Alberto Enriquez Guillén. Present. Uh, Jose Alexander Hernández Sorto. Jose Alexander Hernández. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Thank you. Uh, Karina Alejandra Aquino. Karina Alejandra Aquino. Uh, guys, check the microphone, please. Check the microphone. Uh, Carla Lizette Martinez. Carla. Again, tiene el micrófono. Uh, I think it's Linda. I don't know if you have the uh, microphone. Nice. Okay, look at that. Thank you. Um, uh, Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Iracema Vialta. Present. Uh, Leticia Aide Flores. Present. Uh, Linda Be uh, Beatriz Lopez. Present. Luis Eduardo Méndez. I'm here. Uh, Mayra Sumara Guevara. De Santicha. Um, María Dolores García. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Maritza Elizabeth Rojas. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas. Melissa Stephanie Linares. Thank you. Nelson eh, Rodimiro Pineda. Nelson. Osmin eh, Vidal Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Romero Vladimir Rosales. Present teacher. Sara. Elisa Belloso. Present. Wendy Paola López. Present, teacher. Yolanda del Carmen Hernández. Present. Okay, thank you. Well, so let's get ready with the conversation. We have exactly five minutes to socialize equations. So I know that you can uh, produce the language. So we will take a short time to ask questions about um, the, the questions that I shared with you. And we have uh, 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 three minutes to answer these questions about Sabotar. So let's work with the breakup rooms and I will take a short time to make the groups and we will work in pairs. Okay, like this. Are you ready? Yes, okay, get ready and accept the invitation to join to the breakout rooms. Let's go.
Tal, sí. vez, puede, tal vez puede repetir, Sara. Ok, eso ahí solo que, que cada quien diga algún algún tiempo o época en que se puede visitar El Salvador y, y al momento de, de que nos pregunto, pues relacionar esas posibilidades. Sí. Mm, no sé si sería correcto comentar, you can visit en Semana Santa. ¿Qué es? Yo digo, you can visit um, for, dur, uh, during for Christmas. Okay. But sigamos. To the party. Many party. Okay. Um, can you buy anything special? Can you do anything? Oh, yes, you can buy. You can buy different food. Huh? You can buy anything special. Anything. Mm. <laughs> you can buy. <laughs> ah, you can buy. You can buy mangonias. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What should shouldn't a visitor miss? What shouldn't? What shouldn't? What shouldn't? What shouldn't? What is it? Means. What is it? What is it? This, uh, what shouldn't? I don't know what shouldn't. This is this is I don't know. I don't understand. Eh, ¿Qué no me debería de perder? que no me debería de perder. De mm, 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 mm. party. <laughs> you should. <laughs> yes. There you go. Um, another. ¿Cómo se llama? Aquí, you shouldn't miss the little market. It's like mercaditos. Okay. okay. I shouldn't... Uh... Market. No, you can ask me. No nos quedó tiempo, pero mi pueblito no tiene nada. Where do you live? Uh, I live in San Salvador. What, what place? In Cantón El Carmen.
Education is not here. Well, you know, it's nine o'clock. You know, very fast. The time is going so fast that I, I was yes, listening. Sure. I was listening to a conversation about some downtowns, and you know, I was like, "Oh my God, it's gonna be the time!" So I was listening very, very actively uh, the conversation. But you know, we will continue the next class. And uh, congratulations for your participation, and also for talking about our country. It's beautiful to talk about Salvador, so I hope it's going to be great. So uh, the next uh, so, uh, Monday, we will have the fourth class. So we had to work in the platform. And uh, I hope that we will continue working in the activities. And please work in the platform because it's important. I will say that in Spanish. Eh, no se les olvide trabajar los ejercicios en la plataforma. Eh, el día lunes tendremos eh, la cuarta clase equivalente pues a la a la semana entonces ahí veremos los últimos temas y ustedes se pueden quedar trabajando en los últimos ejercicios pero mientras tanto avancen los que tenemos eh, actualmente Así, sí uh, tomorrow we don't have a class with you no no until monday until monday okay yes yeah weekend is free <laughs> so okay. recover Thanks. energy yeah <laughs> all right cool thank you guys and have a beautiful night to all of you enjoy your weekend thank you teacher. thank you teacher. thank you have a nice Monday. week teacher. Monday. You. have a nice week everybody you too thank you so much goodbye